Well, I think it was um, sadness, to, to be honest. I think sadness in terms of that loss for the nation. Obviously sadness for Her Majesty the Queen and the whole royal family. And that sadness in terms of, for us as the Royal Navy and I think for all the armed forces. So this is a very special person who was close to all of us. And it's a great loss. But this is also a time for reflection. And, and as part of that reflection, there is acknowledgement of a remarkable career and to celebrate much of what he did and what it meant for us. Well, I think it means a great deal to all of us in uniform, whether you're in the Royal Air Force, the British Army or the Royal Navy. I think it feels special for those of us in the Navy because he was very much one of us. As an officer, he came through this college. He honed his leadership skills. He was a star cadet here. He, he won the prize for the best cadet. And then he went on to have this phenomenal naval career. And it was in the middle of wartime. So age 21, he was the second in command of a destroyer. He was mentioned in dispatches for his actions as part of the Battle of Cape Matapan, where we were taking on the Italian fleet. He was involved in the Indo-Pacific. He was involved in the North Atlantic and home waters as well as the Mediterranean. And then after only 11 years in the Royal Navy, he had command of his own ship. So this is somebody who really was a, a wartime example of bravery, ingenuity, enthusiasm, of affection for the people that he led. And he's a great example to all of us. And that carried on beyond his naval career. And the connection for us, I think, is very real. He, he was made Lord High Admiral in 2011, but he was also Captain General of the Royal Marines, and he held that position for 64 years. Quite simply, he, he got us, and, and that was always obvious when, when he was meeting our men and women serving today. Uh, it was uh, the human empathy of, of being interested in them, the banter, the, 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 the wit, the, the difficult question. Um, but it was all real. And I think that, and it wasn't, none of this was for show. Um, he would have private visits, particularly with units returning from operations. So whether that's one of the commando units returning from the Falklands or similarly after the Gulf War. Um, so I think that, again, this is very, very real. And I think that's why you're hearing these, these lovely magical stories where people want to talk about their connection with him.